So we're going to be doing a review on the first Ascended. The last review I did was um, not in depth enough, apparently, which is fine. You know, I, I said that uh, I didn't get to the end game and uh, the campaign basically is is not good. And uh, I just covered like the basic the basic principle of a looter shooter game in the review with some jokes casually thrown in there i think people are just too attached to the game which is whatever it's fine but now that i have a little bit of background knowledge on the end game i'm going to assume that most people want to know what the end game is like and i'm going to explain the end game to you while also covering the basic of like the first basic four hours that you'll see the game okay so my biggest concern with the game is the end game and i want to know how they plan on improving upon the end game i'll say um the base the base game is pretty simple you go through the campaign the campaign is boring uh there's nothing to the campaign or the story i should say is boring the story is boring the gameplay is the only thing keeping the game together and uh the missions are repetitive and that's pretty much all you need to know so if you enjoy the same repetitive uh looter shooter you'll probably like this game you know it doesn't matter what it is again the gameplay the, the gun the ga the actual gameplay itself is fun to do the only thing is that the missions are repetitive i wish there's a little bit more variety the mini bosses are a bit stale because uh most of them evolve around a immunity phase so basically there'll be immunity phase and for some bosses you'll have to kill a ball for some other bosses you'll have to kill mobs that they take the life from so the immunity phase of the boss is i would personally recommend i would personally rather have the um killing the minions over killing the balls because i think the balls in this game are just not interesting whatsoever there's three phases uh, not three phases there's three types of balls you have to destroy the first one is destroy them in a certain pattern if you get the pattern wrong you got to restart that one's the most annoying one because people just don't know about the pattern thing i'm pretty sure the second one is to just destroy them and it is what it is and then the third one will have a also another immunity on top of it so they'll they'll switch immunity between each of the balls and you just gotta work your way through that so the ball regardless of how the balls act the balls in this game are just not good. They're trash. I don't like them at all. They don't need to improve upon them. They don't need to do anything inspirational with them. They should just delete them. And if the boss wants to have an, an immunity phase, the mini boss can have an immunity phase. It is what it is. The raid bosses are fun. I like the raid bosses. Some of them are kind of the same, you know, where they fly up and they have to uh, come down and you have a certain amount of seconds to get out of this circle. The raid bosses in the game are 100% still fun. Now, putting the putting the story in mixed in with the raid bosses along with the gameplay is basically what holds the game together. Also, they're not very stingy on the loot, okay? When when the loot drops, you get a lot of loot. It's actually fantastic, okay? I love loot. You're going to play a looter shooter, the main thing that you should be dropping is a shit ton of loot and recycling that and turning it into other parts it makes sense to have a lot of loot in a looter shooter there's characters in the game but they don't have a developed story so if they if i think that they have if applied more interest with the characters themselves you might be more incentivized to go for specific characters um but i think after a while people are just gonna be like man i'm just gonna go for whatever the ones the most effective against these raid bosses and like it is what it is right or towards the the end content right or they'll probably work their way from easiest to hardest whatever else there's a shop in here and when when you first start off the game you're not really incentivized to go to the shop because you can get from level i think like one or zero i forget what level you actually start at. i think it's one you can get from level one to 100 without spending a dime no problem like you don't need to spend money at all because you, sh you should basically treat the leveling process as just grinding for uh, materials and learning the game basically and if you want to spend a bit more time on the campaign you should that'll prepare you for the end game you might want to watch a couple of youtube tutorials as to how to prepare you for the hard mode content so you can try and get certain things as you're playing the game 
I've been grinding for some of these gold these gold uh, modules. They're actually not that hard to get. They're pretty they're pretty fun to get. I have the um, I think it's called the long maneuvering grappler, which I got that, which is actually pretty freaking dope. Uh, I got it only to level six though because I'm level ten. Uh, like mastery level 10 mastery I should say but there's a lot of materials that you need and I've been spending materials on upgrading other things so I gotta go back and grind for that at some point but uh, yeah I mean it's it's fun there's timers when you research stuff there's a timer and uh, I think the timer should just be deleted from the game I don't care about the fucking timers I think the timers are just stupid like just let me let me research stuff and let me do stuff just just then and there I would prefer to have that over a, a timer you know apparently warframe has like three day timers and i'm like okay but does that does that actually improve the quality of the game though like because to me i would be like okay well i gotta wait for these three things to upgrade before i can go do what i want to do so i'm not gonna play the game for three days and then come back and do something else like i would rather just get it there and then and then go do something else on the same day you know what i mean like i don't think timers in any game are helpful to the gameplay at all at the end game that's when you're more likely to to buy stuff because after a certain amount of time you kind of get bored of the same repetitive grind and there's nothing to progress towards per se you know how in the in the campaign you have like this level system and the level system you just kind of go through when you're leveling up and collecting stuff then you go into like a ray boss and the game the game keeps you uh, I would say entertained in a way, right? Whereas at the end game, the only thing you can do is these raid bosses to try and get to try and level up. That's it. You're just going to be grinding raid bosses. You're going to be grinding the same uh, old campaign, but you're not going to be feeling like you're leveling up from that unless you do the raid bosses, which drops all the loot. So you got to go from level 100 to 130 doing just raid bosses, and you got to get ready for that. They should have a leveling system that allows you to play like level 100 missions level 101 missions level 102 missions and then you're at the level 102 you can try and start to get certain pieces of gear that you would need to go actually kill the raid boss because uh, there's still a sense of a bit of progression as you're going through to prepare yourself for the for the raid boss you know what i mean so there's still something there for you to work towards as you're working towards the 102 raid boss listen there's characters in this game the characters cost 16 dollars the out the ultimate characters cost 100 bucks each or one ultimate character i'm like okay well that this is i mean this is just a skin to me i'm not gonna buy an ultimate character for 5,000 in-game currency it's gonna cost me like 100 or 200 bucks Fuck that all right that's that's where i draw the line i'm like no and i was like okay well i don't want to buy characters because i don't know where the game is going yet i don't want to i don't want to dedicate anything to this game other than the time of me having fun in it currently until i figure out how the end game is going to progress because if it comes out with the next the next update and the new content where if i just go and level up again like they release a little small mini campaign and the campaign levels you up from level 130 up until like 150 and then you have to do like four or five different raid bosses to go from 150 to like i don't know let's just say 180 just for the sake of saying 180 um then everything i did before that leading up to this point would mean nothing so this is like world of warcraft and destiny i didn't play warframe but world of warcraft and destiny the only thing I do in World of Warcraft is I get to um, the max level, then I go get some of the gear to do the LFR raids, and then once I do the LFR raids, I put the game down, I'm done playing the game. Like that, that's it. Because when the next expansion comes out, all the content I do after LFR is going to mean literally nothing because the, the gear you're gonna get from questing in the next expansion is gonna outdo that gear, right? So doing anything from normal to freaking mythic is like, I don't care. You know, I'm I'm so good. Like I'll just do LFR and that's it. If I have to go back to get like a mount or something, then I'll just go back and do it myself and get a mount solo. I don't, I don't care. Like it doesn't affect me, right? <laughs> or like some cosmetic armor. Like it doesn't affect me. That's my concern with this game as well. I don't want to spend that much time in it if they're going to release a different way to to continue to level up, right? So if they were to just release a raid boss 
then I still wouldn't play the game because after a while doing the same like mechanics of the same bosses are kind of boring after a while. It just doesn't appease me, right? Now, I'm not saying the game is bad. Like the game is still good. The game is at least a six out of 10. Some people rate it seven. Some people rate it eight. That's fine. Like it's, it's a good looter shooter and it's playing the campaign and trying to level up. That's fun. Like the gameplay itself is good, right? Getting all the loot feels great. Leveling up and feeling more powerful as you go is awesome. It's the end game that worries me because I don't know which way they're going to take it. That's the only problem I have right now. And I don't want to spend money and I don't want to do anything else until I know for sure what the heck they're going to do with it. Because I don't want to put in all that time into a game where my progression is going to mean nothing when they release the new content. That's what I'm worried about the most. I spent, I think it was, I don't even know how much it was. I actually hold almost 43 hours on this game. The game itself is fun. It's a good, fun game. The only thing that worries me is what they're going to do after the end game content. So if you haven't played the game, you should give the game a try. It's a good looter shooter. If you go into the campaign, you're going to realize real quick that it's very repetitive. And if you can't handle the campaign being repetitive, you're not going to like the rest of the game. So if any point you feel bored or you get tired of it, you should just stop right there and just go do whatever else you want to do. That's my recommendation for you. Don't try to push through it if you don't like it because it's gonna be just more of the same thing further down the line. This is just a typical looter shooter. I don't need to put in that much detail because there isn't that much detail in the first place. It's your, it's your simple grindy, put your head down and just dedicate yourself to it and just go get your stuff. Like that's literally it. It's, it's not that complicated. It is not that complex. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video that I post. Take care and bye-bye. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling